and Nans. We're headed to Universal City Walk in Hollywood. Well, technically it's Universal City, but it's at Universal Studios Hollywood in order to see Rogue One today. Woohoo! Indeed. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. <laughs> and eventually, in a, in a couple, <laughs> a couple of years or so, we'll be back to Universal Studios itself, the theme park. But we have Knott's Berry Farm first, and then we can go back to Universal. That's right, right? I believe so. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we cycle around our theme parks. Just finished Disneyland before this. We're doing Six Flags now. So, let's see. Next year's 2017. We'll be back. Uh, well, 2018 will be Knott's Berry Farm. So, 2019, we should be swinging back around a Universal Studios. Although, we might make a kind of exception and visit Disneyland within the next six months when they bring back the Main Street Electrical Parade. Yay! So, we will we will see. Here's parking. Yeah. So, recently they changed how the parking went. You used to kind of just go off to the individual structures. Now, you actually go into this main kind of toll plaza, for lack of a better word. Mm-hmm. And then they send you off in kind of a, round, <laughs> a roundabout way of getting to all of them. But... They have a system, and it works. Indeed. Yeah, we'll check back later. So here's what they're calling the Universal Cinema now. It used to just be called like the AMC 19 or whatever. And they had the box office that was out over there which has moved inside, which I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but yeah, whatever. Nice decorations around City Walk. They have a weird duet version of Mariah Carey's uh, All I Want for Christmas is You with Justin Bieber, and I don't know how I feel about that. The original song's great, but hmm. Concession area. I'm gonna go with number two. Popcorn tub, two drinks, and then maybe a hot dog on the side. Gotta get that wiener. See Hogwarts up over there. So, what did you think of the movie? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it greatly. Any other further thoughts? And just I enjoyed it. Jar Jar did it. Jar Jar always did it. But yeah, a lot of a lot of good call outs to Star Wars in general. If you watch the Clone Wars, you'll recognize Saw. <laughs> yeah. So this this may have some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler, yeah, spoiler. spoiler. So yeah, Saw was from uh, the Clone Wars. He was I forget the planet he was on, but he was with his sister kind of fighting a little uh, in a little cell against these separatists and their droids. I Anyway, he, he was fighting with his sister, and then his sister died. She had that purple hair, and I think I, I think that was her. <sighs> it's why I'm complaining my episodes because I thought there was another. I don't know, separate, so. it, it might have also been with the group that was fighting those flying machines, where they got those rockets, the special rockets they needed to take it down, brought on by I think it was Mr. Hondo. Oh, Hondo. <sighs> Can't live with them, can't live without them. And I saw some U-Wings for the first time. I don't 
remember there ever being U wings. Saw plenty of Y wings and X wings and frigates and like a special Mon Calamari cruiser, Korean Corvettes. I believe Gavril, not Akbar, but his associate. Well, uh, that was another Mon Calamari. Yeah, we call it a hammerhead. Well, no, no, no. The, the hammerhead was, it looked like a Korean Corvette with a, just a big, big old, uh, like, faceplate ah. on it, basically. <laughs> ah. Indeed. Yeah, overall, I think the ending battle on the ground and in space was really cool. As always. Yeah. Darth Vader's use was used well. Yes, judicious, judicious mm -hmm. appearance. And you got to see some people from Star Wars and the Clone Wars TV series, like Tarkin. I think he was the lieutenant in the series, or maybe a colonel. I think he was governor. No, 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 now he is in the series. Oh. Yes. He was, he was like lieutenant. Because remember, he served under Anakin. Mm, yes. And I like the uh, robot guy. I don't know his call he sign, but yeah. He, he was cool. He reminded me a little of what's his name from, uh, from uh, Rebels. Yeah. Well, calculating probability, I was like, uh. <laughs> well, yeah. The, Oh, and, and C-3PO too. It's like the chances of navigating this asteroid field are something thousand to one. <laughs> and you saw, you saw the two droids there. And of course, the movie ended right where Episode Four, aka Star Wars, picks up. Mm -hmm. You have a uh, senator. Oh, what's his name? I can't think of it. Hi. Um, dang it. Organa. Alderaan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, you have oh, Senator Organa on his on his ship. <laughs> got his Corvette. What can I say? It's very bright to me. Yeah. He's not his Korean Corvette. Darth Vader in pursuit on his Star Destroyer. They have the, the uh, stolen rebel plans. Oh my. Uh, How about you, man? Yeah. And you, we saw like the precursor to the at, -AT just a little bit before is just the at, -AT. it's like the at -A CT yes. or something. <laughs> no, the, <laughs> the at, the at ST is a little two legged walker. That's a no, Scott I Walker. Said, I said ATAS because I know it doesn't exist. <laughs> S kind of from T, what can I say? Well, nah. I liked how on uh, Yavin 4, which is where the rebel base is, which, Le which Leia didn't tell them, but you do see in A New Hope, they have the guy standing in his little tower thing that always looks so silly. We see all the uh, X wings and Y wings taking off in A New Hope, so they had that twice in this one, it'd be like, yeah, remember this guy? I was like, yeah, yep. I do. Yeah. Oh, well, good movie. Interesting thing, no opening crawl. Yeah, pretty much cool opening. I thought it was a cool opening. Well, yeah, it, it, it was, and they had the little bit of a late towel car, but yeah, no opening crawl, or like, you know, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, because technically it's not Star Wars, it's a story from Star Wars, but, you know. Spoilers, Look, spoilers, spoilers. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the action. Gareth Edwards is good with that. He did Godzilla. Awesome. Alright, so what would, you, what would you rate this out of 10? Out of 10? Mm -hmm. I'll give it a solid 8.5. Plenty of review number of things. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And as for me, I, I think about mm, 7 or an 8. Some of it was, of course, very predictable, but what are you going to do with a, a prequel or interquel, however you want to say it? I think it called more of a backstory of well, a sort. I mean, you, you knew they were going to get the plans. You knew that, just the how. that they, like, there was no more Rogue One after that, kind of everyone's fate. It's just the how and the who and the yeah. why and all that jazz. The, the characters were fairly well developed. Some of the side characters, not as much, but... That, that's okay. I noticed there were a lot of scenes in the trailers that were not in the movie at all. I don't know here, if they, here. I don't know if they cut things or if they purposely did those just to throw people off. But what might have been? Dot dot dot. Anyway, go check it out yourself. Okay, so welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Go. Today we are at City Walk. Just got done seeing Star Wars. Kind of spin this, although I don't know if I have space. <laughs> I do, apparently. 
pops up plenty of polka stops here, but we're gonna walk over to the front of the park, which should have a lure over there. Just kind of around and see what we get. Some people entering there. I wonder if it's employees or not. Who knows? Let me know. So there they are filming extra. I don't know who the people are. Do you, Julie? Oh, the guy in the purple? It's Mario Lopez. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really know. You get kind of a crowd there. So they actually do film right here. These are some of the uh, security lines that are not being used. Not a super busy day, but busy enough. Over here by the Universal Studios sign that you've seen a lot with the fountain, you can actually see part of, uh, what's it, Happy Silly Funland? That's his Pickleball Me ride right there. And right next to the sign, you have the plaza. We're kind of on the other side of the plaza. There's the main gate over there. The rest of it.